Hey guys, good morning. This is Dan. Welcome to Angle Geist. For those of you that are new, welcome. For those of you that are returning, welcome back. For those of you that support me over on Patreon, thank you so very much for your subscriptions. I greatly appreciate them. This is the daily forecast for all signs. Um, it is for, it's originally created for Monday the 27th of September, but it's not solely set for that day. If you're seeing it on a different date than the 27th, please take the message rather than the date. So, also on my daily videos, please check out the drop down menu. In there, there's information that I want you to know when utilizing my videos. So, keeping that in mind, um, please check that out. Uh, beyond that, please hit the thumbs up button, leave a comment, a question, a like, uh, share the video with your friends, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell so you get notified when I go live. And let's see what's going on with the cards today. Okay, our card for the day is the... Is this the Seven of Swords? It is the Seven of Swords. Okay, Liar, Cheater, Stealer. Um, coupled to that Five of Swords, not a great day, my feeling. Um, you know, we have that Five of Swords underpinning the beginning of this week with the Seven of Swords here. Generally, the Seven of Swords indicates somebody's not being honest in a situation. Somebody's not telling the whole truth. This could be us being straight out lied to or betrayed. Um, it's usually a thief of some sort. Somebody that's stealing something. Um, or taking something that doesn't belong to them and not being upfront about it. This can also be us lying to ourselves at times. If we're, say, Say we're in quarantine and the only person we're dealing with is ourselves. Is there an area in our life where we're not necessarily telling ourselves the whole truth? And are we, um, you know, maybe with that Five of Swords energy under it, are we trying to validate something that we know we don't need to be? Or that we know deep inside we're maybe not, you know, being honest with ourselves? Um, or there could be somebody outside of us, a situation outside of us that's not treating us appropriately. Uh, it's not giving us sort of the um, honesty that we deserve so that we can make an informed decision. Uh, whatever it is, with the Five of Swords underneath it, there is some sort of a rift, a debate, an argument, a challenge that is going on during all of this. And so keep that in mind moving forward. We need to know all of the information. We want to know all of the information. So, um... Uh... You know, just be aware or be, um, you know, paying attention uh, to what people are saying to you, what they're, you know, there's sometimes with the Seven of Swords, I would be more aware of not only what are they saying to you, but what are their actions versus their words, you know, sometimes that can be an indicator of when somebody's not being honest or upfront with us, right? They could be telling us a little bit, uh, saying one thing and doing another, you know, and that's always a... I sort of it can be a seven of swords indicator, right? Where they say one thing, yet their actions indicate something else. And that's something we might want to be aware of um, because their actions might be the very thing that is showing us who they are or um, what they believe. Um, and it may not be as honest or as um, uh, what we thought it was, if that makes sense, right? And so they may not be lying to us unintentionally or they may think that like, you know, they are being, you know, the best possible version of themselves, but they're really not. Uh, and with the Five of Swords underneath, it seems like we are trying to prove something to them or that we are trying to, you know, understand them or force them to understand us. And it might be a waste of time. The, will you guys stop? Like, really, you guys are working my puss this morning, all of you. I swear, with the growling, snarling snappiness. I think that's their play sounds, but it just sounds so ferocious. The um, sacred journey marker is risk. Okay? Uh, not the best sacred journey marker when seeing this. Coupled with both of these swords cards. Something's up for... Uh, something's... Something's up for a change, I feel like. The card risk is number 40, right? So to me, it feels like... When I'm looking at this card, we see the path in front of us. It looks direct. It looks like we understand what we're dealing with, but we don't. 
is my feeling, especially with the Seven of Swords card here. It feels like we may think we know, but we need to pay closer attention. Maybe we need to stop like trying to prove ourselves or our argument and pay more attention to what's being done around us because there's something we're not seeing. You know, there's a risk that we're taking. There's a um, there's something that is being either risked by ourselves unknowingly or by others around us, but we need to pay attention to it. Uh, be aware of it. I kind of feel like these cards are a bit of a warning, right? Like in essence, kind of heads up, something's not right. Something is maybe not necessarily um, as it appears to be or as it should be. Someone may be not um, who they say they are or doing what they say they're supposed to be doing. Um, the Seven of Swords would indicate somebody that's rather selfish, maybe narcissistic or, or out for themselves and their own gain rather than our own, even though they may be presenting themselves in a way that is um, like a team player. So be aware of that. The risk is, or what I think the risk is, that card's number 40, which is four, boils down to a four, which usually indicates stability, not necessarily a bad card per se. We best stop. Not necessarily a bad number, but I feel like whoever this person is or whatever this situation may be, whatever this seven of swords, five of swords combination is, this struggle, strife, bad communication, can't quite trust them, don't really know what's going on, don't feel like we're getting a clear answer. You know, it's risking our stability is my feeling. That's the four in the number 40. Is that we think things are stable, we think we see the path clearly, we think we know where this is heading, or we think we know who we're dealing with, when in actuality we may not. And so be aware is sort of the feeling that I'm getting from these cards. There's a bit of a warning. Remember those grounding stone this week is angel, right? And that to me, that stone indicates like our spirit guides or our angels may be watching over us or protecting us. And we very well may need that this week if we're dealing with some sort of situation that appears to be one way, but that might actually be another. So calling upon those angels or those guides to give you insight into what are people up to? What are they doing? Um, why are they doing it? That um, very well may be um, important this week, um, especially in this early part of the week while that Five of Swords energy underpins this. Just be aware, this could be only maybe for a specific person that watches. It doesn't necessarily have to be everyone's reading, but um, There's something that's up for change, I feel like, and we don't even know it. That's my feeling. So the grounding stone for the day is give. And normally this is like, to me, about being sort of compassionate or, uh, you know, um, where and what can we give, right? Like being generous in a way. But this to me feels the, the redness of the stone, which brings me to the uh, first chakra, which is about grounding and survival. Um, the redness feels a slightly agitated, same with the redness in the poppies and the redness on the sword hilts here. It feels slightly agitated, like underneath the surface. And when I look at this wrist card, it makes me feel like, be wary of what we're giving to this situation, to this person. And not only, you know, unknowingly, right? Because the Seven of Swords is a is a thief in a way, right? They could be stealing stuff from us or stealing our energy, stealing our ideas, stealing our attention away from something that's more important in our life. They could be undermining our stability right now, right? But the, this Give Stone is making me think about grounding in the idea of what do we need to give to this situation or do we need to give it all? What exactly are we giving to this situation? Are we giving too much? Are we giving this Seven of Swords person too much by engaging in that Five of Swords energy of trying to make them see our part or our, um, um, our viewpoint, right? Trying to convince them to our side. Or are we giving them too much of our attention while we listen to them try and convince us of why their behavior is okay? In the end, we are risking our own stability. We are risking our own um, sort of resources, be it our brain power, our intelligence, our emotions, our care, 
all of that? Is this being given to someone that's undeserving and we don't know it? A little bit of a warning there, guys. Um, be aware of who is around you. I don't normally do negative readings, and I don't feel like this is super negative. I feel like this is more like, you know, um, a warning, basically, like, wake up. Hey, uh, something's afoot around you, and you need to be aware of it. Pay attention. I love that he's in front of a circus tent, too. Like, in other words, there's hijinks going on. Not my monkeys, not my circus. Like, stop giving to this situation and step away. Uh, ask your angels for guidance, ask your intuition, trust your higher self during this time, and you will get through this. Remember, we have that empress in the middle of the week, so she's going to resettle everything and bring things back to a, a better place. But right now, we might have to just be aware and on the lookout. That is your forecast for the day. Thank you so much for tuning in. I greatly appreciate each and every one of you. Please hit the thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel, and share the video out. I look forward to seeing you guys tomorrow. We'll see how this plays out, and hopefully... Um, Everything starts to turn around for the better. All right, take care and have a good day, you guys. Bye-bye.